So first up, we got Michael, Michael Bui, who will be sharing with us a little bit about PHP 5.6. Uh, yeah, so got any questions, just ask him later. Uh, and if you have any questions, yeah, just, just ask him later. Okay, carry on. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael, and now I'm very uh, happy to stand here uh, talking about the PHP 5.6. And in order to talk about the new feature from PHP 5.6, I start from PHP 5.3 with a significant change from PHP. And uh, everybody look up at the screen and see this all listed version of PHP. So can I know who is up to PHP 5.5? A few. 5.4? Not so many. 5.3? Oh, more than. OK. So the rep is 5.2. Any version for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's good to start. Okay. Uh, I'm Michael Bui. I'm currently working for Zalora as a software engineer, and this is my Facebook and Twitter. Hope we have more friends, more fun. And okay, so everyone you know from PHP uh, 5.3, we have uh, uh, some new changes. The first one is uh, the Eric functions uh, are deprecated, and uh, SPL library from PHP is enabled by default and is only enabled also the reflection class. And uh, in PHP 5.3, we have new magic. Magic method uh, uh, supported like involved and go static for us to sub to uh, call the to do a magic call to a, a static function. And PHP 5.3 we have a big uh, performance improve. And this is a list of uh, main things since in PHP 5.3. The first one and the biggest one everyone you know is a um, support for namespace which is help our code better organization and it's also bring uh, PP world to a new level of uh, coding standard and the first one is the PSR0 for um, re for structuring uh, your PP file in your project and based on PSR0 we have a composer we have help us to standardize the on the third party library from everybody uh, in the PHP world and make it really re reusable and very easy to integrate it uh, in our code base and namespace support for class function and constant through the const st uh, keyword and in order to import a uh, class into our our file, we use use a. Of course, we have to use the auto loader from the composer or whatever you write by yourself. Uh, and we use a use keyword to include the class into our uh, to inherit the class into the our program. And in uh, PHP five point three, everybody know we can use the relative or absolute. Uh, namespace. In PP 5.3, uh, we we are introduced the closer or so-called uh, anonymous function. We have have it in some case, and everybody here is working on JavaScript and quite familiar with the closer, right? Okay. Go to PHP 5.4, we have some new changes. Uh, the last one that I want to mention first is the big memory and performance improvement. This is very, uh, it's increased around like 30% of the performance. And in PHP 5.4, we have a PHP library, uh, binary constant, which 
uh, store the value to the binary file of PHP. And in PHP 5.4, when we do the array to string conversion, it will trigger the notice. And if you set the error reporting level in your PHP i9 to, uh, to include a notice, you will see that uh, message display. In PHP 5.4, we also have uh, uh, array callback method. And in this one is a short syntax for the array. I will come up with the, in the next slide. But it looks quite similar to the array syntax. In PHP 5.4, we have a uh, biggest thing is uh, thread support, which is cut the like, copy and paste uh, at the compiler level for our PHP code. So basically, if nobody know about thread, it look like exactly look like a class with the instead of using class keyword we using thread keyword and inside we have some function defined or, or some abstract function to be uh, implemented uh, later and in the, uh, and when we want to use thread we can use the keyword use also to include thread in our class and we can import as many thread as we want just like we can copy and paste as many as uh, code we want to our program and when we have a multiple thread we will face the issue with the uh, function collision like for example one thread have a method one and the other have also have method one so if we include the thread into our class the function the program we do not know which function which method from which thread they will use in order to solve that collision we use the instead of and as to solve the collision I will show later also in PHP 5.4 we have closer support for this variable and by supporting this variable we can also rebuy the this variable so that means in if you are if you have closer in your program and define in one class and later if you use if you want to use that one at another place if using the an, a same function name from another class we can rebuy that to another class to run this one and this closer we run the new function in new class also uh, before PP 5.4 the short uh, PP tab short equal tab uh, must be enabled in order to work but since PP 5.4 is only enabled and also they work that's a matter of just testing in PHP i95. In PHP 5.4, we have support for binary number, just like uh, octocore number and hex hexa number. And uh, binary number start with 0, B, and after that, of course, it's only 1 or 0. So in PHP, 5.4 we have a short array syntax this is quite uh, I think I, I expected this one quite a long time until PP 5.4 because when I work with like JavaScript this syntax is very nicely and I think almost us if uh, we are programmer we all, all understand about this syntax and why we have to write arrays like a function and in PP 5.4 by using uh, um, sorry, in PHP 5.4, we have an uh, array different dif referencing. Uh, so, when a, fun a function return an uh, array, we can use, we can get element of that array immediately without assign the return value to another variable. 
and we also have uh, initiation time access so if you look here this object will be initiated and the method is called immediately just like similar to array differencing in PP 5.4 we also have a dynamic method code I think everybody understand about this one right uh, also if you have any question during my talk just feel free to interrupt me and raise the question okay go to PP 5.5 Regular expression with the E modifier, it is duplicated. And I have a very bad experience to solve this issue in uh, my product. And it takes very long time, it's very uh, haptic. Also, in PP 5.5, the MySQL extension is officially duplicated. And you are encourage to use the mysql i or the pdo to connect to interact with your mysql server and since pp 5.4 we have a boon uh, number uh, sorry binary number and in pp 5.5 we have a boon uh, variable in order to work with like integer value or float value and before PP 5.5, empty, empty function only support variable. Like so, when you have a function return something, you cannot check the return value directly by empty function. So previously, when I want to do that, I have to assign the return value to a variable and use the empty function to check it. But now with this with this support, I can do it much cleaner way. And since PP 5.5 APC uh, extension is deprecated also. Who who have been using uh, APC extension? Who doesn't know APC extension? Who know APC extension? <laughs> okay, so APC uh, extension is a uh, catching uh, library for PHP to catch uh, our uh, PHP code at the binary level. So when we run uh, our website, we send a request to our server and that request is redirected to PHP processor and uh, PHP will read our code and bring our code to the interpreter and the interpreter will convert our code from what we write to binary level and run it so for every single request our system have to redo the same thing from time to time so APC will help us to catch some binary data in our memory so next request we don't have to com uh, don't have to convert the PAP code in the binary again and from PAP 5.5 Zen have worked has been working hard in order to integrate the OPC catch in the PAP uh, viewing um, library so but it's not enabled by default so if you want to take advantage of this one you have to go to PP and I and enable it and it does exactly the same thing with APC it was doing and someone who worked on APC before uh, may need some similar library and we have APCU library for PP 5.5 but uh, I'm not recommend using this in PP 
We also have a finally support for the try catch. I think everybody know about the try catch, right? Okay. So basically, uh, finally, who not understand about finally work? So everybody understand about the finally keyword work? Okay. I really need more response from you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically, in PP, uh, previously we have a try cast. We try to run some code. If that code returns some exception, we will catch it and proceed and handle the exception. So that means in some case we have some issue. And we have some code like we open a, a file to write some uh, data to the file. But for some reason, if we have an exception, at the end of the exception, we have, we handle, after we handle the exception, we have to close the file. But if we are not getting any exception, we also have to close the file. So previously, we have to run the F close to close the file in both try and catch section. So in order to do that, we can write a new finally section. So the code is written inside the finally section. We only run that matter if any exception is thrown or not. So previously, we just need to, uh, so from now on, we just need to put the uh, closing file code inside the finally section and we don't have to duplicate code in the two places. In PHP 5.5, we also have a class constant to support. And the purpose of this is because in PHP, from PHP 5.3, we have a namespace support. And for example, if in namespace A, we have a hello world class, namespace B, we also have uh, hello world class. So when we, uh, like for example, if we want to check if an object is instant of this class, do we need to give the uh, just hello world or we have to give the full length of the namespace and the class? I think that somebody here is quite confused between these two. So the answer is you have to give the full length, the full qualified class name. And this one will help us to, uh, to get the full qualified class name for, uh, for the class we are working on. And it's quite convenient for us to use. And similar to PHP 5.4, we have an array different things. In PHP 5.5, we have a literal different thing, which works quite similar. And in PHP 5.5, we have a list function support in the forest loop. And if you look at this one, we have a list of records, and inside record, assume we have a name and email of a person. So previously, we have go to for each records at a record, for example, or a person. And then we have to get person name and person email. So now we can write faster like this, and it look cleaner. And PAP 5.5, we have very interesting feature called generator and coroutine. I will go more detail to this one later. Okay, now PP 5.6 is what we, the reason we come here. So since PP 5.3 to PP 5.5, we can only import class name to our uh, 
to a program. And since PHP 5.6, we can import a function or constant using the use function or use constant keyword. And this will be declared inside a class definition. And this is a small thing. In, uh, previously, when you when we define a constant, we can only assign to the uh, uh, basic uh, data like a string, integer, or, or string or number, or a boolean value. But now we go a little higher. We can use reuse the previous uh, constant inside the inside a new constant or we can use the uh, uh, scalar expression like plus uh, uh, bitwise uh, operator things like that and we can use it inside the function uh, arguments also in pp 5.6 we have a new uh, magic method named debug info this will uh, help the developer to rewrite the way application debug our variable using var dump and i think everybody working here at least you var dump for multiple time right <laughs> and <laughs> yeah when we want to see like, what is value at this step we only use var dump or prina yeah and this will help us to write the debug information for that class And PP 5.6 bring us a very nice feature named variadic uh, function. And very uh, variadic function is uh, the way we tell the function to have a dynamic number of arguments. So, for example, we have a, a Function called uh, like called a query, and inside the inside us uh, like build query, and we have a base uh, query, and inside the base query we have uh, some uh, data need to replace. So the number of data to replace is unknown, and by using this function, and uh, by not like without this function we have to use something like. Uh, get function argument to get on the list argument of the function and then we have to remove the first one with the base query and get the on the list of the parameter as the data but using the variadix function we can make it look very, very cleaner and very easy to understand and also we can use the we still can use the reference and time hinting for the uh, argument we are passing in. I will show you later about this one. Uh, along with the variable function, we also have argument unpacking, which is similar to variable function. But in variable function, we only have one dynamic token. But argument unpacking, we have as many as uh, a token we want so okay let's talk about uh, let's stop here first and later i will show you uh <coughs> how to use very function and argument and unpacking and pp 5.6 we also have an exponent operator uh which is double star and now we can upload more than two gig because previously uh when we try to upload uh two gig or more the system cannot handle and we through the error. Okay, one more thing. Everybody know this one, right? <laughs> okay, this is a uh, live coding. I have prepared some uh, few code, and I will run. I will show you uh, what's the difference between uh, version in PHP. Which is support, which is not supported. 
until from PP 5.3 and PP 5.6 and let's start Uh, the presentation mode. Yeah. Okay. Huh? I want to take just in case I. Uh, enter presentation mode. Try that. So then I lose my terminal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Nice. Uh, we make fast bigger lot. Yeah. Uh, we use a white white background. Oh, you can see okay. Uh, can you guys see the screen? Can you guys read? Can is it visible? Everybody can read it really from something? at the bottom of the. So why home? You can read it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay. In this machine, I installed four version of PAP, five point three, five point four, five point five, five point six. All of this version I let this version up uh, uh, I let this one in the PHP website. You can go there and check. And now I will try to to show you a different things for different version. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is about namespace. Let's check what we have now. PHP. We have PP five point six, and now I want to switch to PP five point three. Okay, now we have PP five point three. Okay. Everybody can read it. How about this? Better? Yeah. Okay. So namespace uh, support board class class function constant and even interface also and. In order to use the to 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 to, to import the uh, namespace uh, object into our program, we can use the use function here. Like from here, I use the uh, our interface <coughs> which define on top. This is the uh, absolute uh, namespace, and from here you can see the full class is extend from base which is a uh, relative namespace because we are in the same namespace so this is global namespace without any name here and this is where our code will run and from here I will try to output something some messages here and the message will be this constant and let's see what we have here ah, look at that, thank you Okay, everybody, everybody sees like this string is outputted here, and we have a new string. We have badam new string here. It's global full. It's a global constant, which define here. Why I have this? Because I want to show you what is PP five point six have. In PP five point six, we support. We have import for constant and function. And 
you see the full in the namespace will be this one and if you run this code in pp 5.3 now you will see a error you see okay now i switch to pp 5.6 run again wow boom everything is running and this string is outputted and this this string is outputted by this vadam and this full is exactly the same value here so that means the constant is imported to our program now and also you see here we have vadam we can use a we can import uh, the vadam here but we'll, if you look at, at the namespace at the class function we have vadam message here and this vadam message will replace the bewin vadam function and now if i remove this one Everybody take note, right? Here we don't have a, a <coughs> variable time. Like previously, we have a string here. You see? But here we don't have any variable time because in the vadam function, I equal the value directly. Now I remove it. Who can tell me what's happened? Anybody guess? If I run it now, use the original, use the uh, building button. Yeah. Okay, that's the correct answer. So instead, so even we don't have a button in the full namespace class, a full namespace, the system will phone back to the global the bewin function and we have a vadam function at the bewin function so it will run that one oh shit Okay, sorry. I, I think I was wrong here. It will not phone back. It will not phone back to Bwin function. Okay, that is new. That's the first new things in PHP 5.6. Next thing I want to show you about anonymous function, which is mostly different in PHP 5.3 and 5.4 for closer. Okay, let's switch back. So here, the anonymous function for PP 5.3 will return a closer. 5.4 will return a closer. These two closer do the same thing, which is running the R method here. But PP 5.3 doesn't support this. 
and we cannot use this in the to pass in to the function using the use keyword I have to assign to a new name and use this but for PP 5.4 we can use this directly in the inside the uh, anonymous function Let's quickly run this one. Since we are running in PHP 5.3, this function does not support, and also the buy tool to rebuy the this. Uh, to rebuy the this variable doesn't support also. Now, if I switch to PP 5.4 and undo this, and I come here from PP 5.4, okay. This one I'm showing I'm showing you to uh, uh, rebinding this method and if you can look at here I have a closer return from full class and I try to rebind to back class but by default the binding will use the static method and the static method must be public but look at the back class here it's a protected method so we cannot call it and that's why the error happened here how to solve it we need to put the scope inside here so the code scope will be inside the bar object and that's and by doing this the our method can be called see everything is running okay next I'm talking about the thread the new feature in PHP 5.4 Okay, here is how we write a thread. Use the trace constant, and the syntax is quite similar to class. Class, we have a function definition inside the thread also, as many of you want. And we have two thread here, full and bar. And look at these two threads. We can see that both threads have a hello function. And if we, if I use the full bar inside our program <coughs> like this and once we run here this fun this the book our program don't know which hello function they need to run and when the system confuse it will true a uh, error The hello mm. method cannot be applied because there's collision between two threads. In order to solve this problem, we use a keyword instead of. So the system will use the hello method from the bar thread, uh, from the full thread, instead of the one inside the bar. And in order to use the hello inside the bar, we will create a, an alias of that function called hello bar. And we can use it here. Also, look at this one. In the bar thread, the hello function 
is declared as the public method. But using this alias syntax, we can convert it from public to protect or private. And we can we still can using it here. See? So this one, the hello foo is outputted from the full thread. Hello bar is output outputted from bar thread, and we both have them here. So that is how we solve the collision. Also, another question is: Now I want to know <coughs> which thread the function, the class test is using. That is supported by class U. Yeah. And if you look at here, you can see that we have two straight. One is full, one is bar. So we can check. We can see the list of the thread the class is using, and we can check if the uh, one thread is being used by one class or not quite easy. Okay, that is bar thread. Next one, more interesting. I will start. I will talking about generator and coroutine, which is a new feature in PP five point five, which. I guess not so many people here knowing about it, right? So this is serious question. Please answer. Who know generator and coroutine? Wow, nobody know. That's good. Then let's explain something. Okay. So. The generator is take advantage of u of the u function, and the u function is what similar to return keyword. So this will return the hello value to the function who call it. But the difference between u and return is it not stop there; it's continue running until the last u is called. And it's return the return of the gain function is not a string type. It's a generator class. It's an instance of generator class. And generator class is implementing the array iterator. Array iterator is one of the class inside SPL library. So another question here, who does know SPL library? Should I pick up someone who is not raise your hand and ask about SPL library? <laughs> okay, who know about SPL library? You guys go <laughs> because SPL stands for standard PHP library. Yeah, SPL is a standard PHP library, which is extra library in addition to the traditional PHP library, which solves some specific problem, and it's quite complicated. Not in the way it works, it's also in complicated in the naming also so some of them some of us we know about the array object array object will implement the array iterator so array iterator will iterate through our array object and get the item of, uh, of the array and bes beside uh, array iterator 
we have a filter iterator, we have a recursive iterator, we have a iterator iterator, we have a recursive iterator iterator. So the naming is quite confusing. You might actually already be using something like this. Uh, you know of auto loading, auto loading mechanism. There's one. You look at some open source libraries that are using this thing called SPL auto load. So that SPL autoload is actually a part of SPL SPL library, which is kind of like is. Um, so this, this, those guys felt it wasn't uh, it wasn't ready for main main street uh, for for prime time. So they just kind of bunched them together as a bunch of libraries that were specific. Um, uh, it solves specific problems, as Michael said. So SPL autoload is one of those specific problems. So how do you how do you uh, create a standard way of autoloading files? Uh, if you look into the source code of uh, maybe Composer, you will find that they actually use SPL autoload in some places as well. So, uh, you are, do you guys know what autoloading is? <coughs> so, autoloading means if, if, if there's a convention in how, in how PHP loads uh, uh, classes, so you don't do include this, require this, or something. So, it's based on autoloading, uh, you basically pass it a function, it tells it what function you need to use. Auto load files. So basically, you based on the class name you're using, you try to find the, the file based on the file name to include automatic, automatic, auto, automatically. Um, if you use a composer, which is a package manager for PHP, you probably need something like this. Already. Yeah. So. Okay. So back to our code. The new keyword win return a generator class. We implement the array iterator. So by now, just imagine it returns something similar to an array. So this this one will return uh, an array of two items. One is hello, the other one is word, and we can we can loop through the return value just like an array like we can use a forest here again add a string and we can output it there I try to run the code and we will see but first thing we are using pp 5.4 and I try to run this and we will know that this went through an error Okay, now I switch to PHP 5.5. Switch to 5.5.17. Okay. So everybody know that this is 5.5. Let's run it. PHP generator. Okay. So we see we we output two line. And each line contains its value of the return value of generator. So this is a very basic demonstration of generator in PHP 5.5. Okay, let's go a level higher named coroutine. Quite difficult to understand here, but I hope I mean clear up something for you okay look at the full function here we have a new keyword and everybody look at the code we know that the new keyword is not only return a value it has it plays some role here right and inside the bar function we go to the generator function and here we use the specific function name send method what it does is it send value inside the send function here back to the full function. It 
it look quite normal now but how we can get the the string inside the full function we get it because from here right we don't have any variable here and we get it by the same keyword u function so the u function here play two roles now the first one it capture the pass in value from the send method here and return the value to the string also it do the same thing it return the value the variable i back to the corner function but here we are not using the i value so the u keyword here is play two rooms together one is receive the value and also return the value back to the original function that is coroutine and let's run this code you see now here we output hello Michael but look why I have three item here it only output two because of course from here I have a limit on two so it only output until variable I reach to two so it out, out it will output the first two variable okay that is quite still easy to understand but anybody find problem in the result here look at the code I have a slip tool here what does it do it will pause the program for two seconds right <coughs> and it's, it is written inside the loop so that means between these two cones it must have two seconds different but this one have only almost no different in the time just few milliseconds so the concept is quite complicated here the first one when we come to the hello the first parameter here it will go go to the cone function go to this one and inside this one it will run this code and for this code it will run the now function first remember it will run the now function first and the now function will come to micro time which return this value so after it runs this one it runs to the u keyword getting to to, to output the value and in this case if the first item in the array is a hello string and continue until here okay what next the function go back directly to this loop again because the i is still smaller than 2 and it runs this code immediately and then when it reach you it will pause them waiting for it put to be sent in by the same function so that mean in the first at the first cone this the now function will be called twice almost at the same time and you can see the difference here almost the same time 
I don't know if it's a uh, expected behavior, but this supposed to be a bug for a generator. Any questions so far? The one of the application is locking system. So basically, you have a locker here. In Imaging Fu is a locker. You initiate the locker system. It, it, it initiates the locker uh, track, and you run another function. And as soon as you want to lock anything, you just pass the lock <coughs> string here, and this lock string will pass inside here. And is and instead of e echoing, e we can right directly to the log file. This is an example of the applica uh, application for coroutine. Sorry? If we put the slip inside the hall, of course the time will be different. Yeah. No, this is a different uh, it, this is a different function. So, because it's outside the wall, and what happened is for the two function cone, which is quite similar to each other, the system should behave similar. Yeah, but if you run this, right? Actually, it's the fall, it's supposed to sleep there by the sleep. At the top, the barrel stream will freeze. But that, that should run there. So, yeah. put it on top. Sleep? Then the sleep actually also doesn't work. Right? Sorry? Right. Put sleep? Uh, inside the wall loop. It also doesn't work. Inside the wall loop here? Yeah. Maybe I put below here? Yeah. And run? Yeah, you can run. But the result will be your, what we are expected. Oh. You see? We have two second different now. So, in theory, it doesn't matter it's which loop we are putting, it should <coughs> acting the same. Any question? So we go to the last one with the debug info. Anyone want to look more time? Okay, can I go to the next one? Next one? Can okay. make this available on GitHub or something? Yes. Yeah. Actually, it's available here. Everything is available here. So feel free to go to this one. I will, pop, I will put this link in our um, group and people will just come and check out the code and try to play around with the code and to see what is new, what is, and to see how it happened. go to debug info and uh, let's switch to PP5.6 because this one is only supported by PP5.6 so far so <coughs> we switch 5.6.0 okay we are in PP5.6 here So, the concept is quite simple. Debug info, a magic method, 
when return an array it must return an array otherwise the system went through an error and this array will contain the data we want to show when someone use vadam to debug our variable our class and from here i brought up the full class here and the first thing i will remove this one first it will be empty class and let's see what we have here everybody should know it's just nothing object full nothing here now i put it back and run we have something here so that means this is still an object and the array return will be displayed inside the object at the data for this object so this is similar to rewrite function in Apache so we display something which not may not be actual data of the object but we only want to show something we limit it to show something we want to uh, populate some data to show when user run the debug and for example if i remove the array syntax here the system went through error debug install must return an array okay and that's all for now for my presentation about the feature in BP 5.3 to 5.6 and thank you for listening and this is my Twitter and Facebook feel free to add me and I'm very happy thank you